Hello, my friends from Munich. It's a beautiful morning. It's actually kind of cold and dark, but it's okay. I'm feeling good, so it's a beautiful morning. We're heading into town, walk around today. I'm thinking I might stay in Munich an extra day than I was planning, just so I can uh, enjoy the city some more and slow down. Um, right now we're gonna head to the King's Garden, Konigsgarten, and uh, check out some museums around there. And then after that, we're gonna head to the uh, Odensplatz, which has some other museums and shops and stuff, and make some experiences today. Today might be an intense video. I don't know what's gonna happen yet, but I'm excited. I'm always excited, <sighs> except for that one time. Back down to the subway. So much room to walk around, to sit, to relax. You know, my Airbnb host offered me an umbrella and I looked at the weather. I said, no, there's no chance of rain today. I should be all right. I don't need to carry an extra thing. It's not even like raining. It's like sleeting. This is like sleet coming down. A uh, giant circle oh, covered in poop and graffiti. Here we are into the Konigsplatz, the King's Plaza. We're gonna look around and see what these places are. Problem. I'm so glad my phone has a wide uh, view for stuff like this. Because this thing is huge. All right, we're gonna walk inside and see if there's anything going on. Now, if only I could understand any of this. Von Ludwig. So this is like the king's Ludwig's house, or it's like an arc. It's like an arc they triumph almost, but bigger, more German. Another massive museum or something. It says it's open. So we're gonna go inside and see what's going on. Let's see. Oh, it is, big door. Whoa. Museum? For what? Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, free? Or? No, it's with six How much? Euro, six euro. And it's uh, one euro on Sundays? Yes, Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow. So tomorrow, the reason I'm thinking about staying for another day, on Sundays, all the museums are one euro. So I'm thinking tomorrow, I can make my museum day. Tomorrow we're gonna go explore the museums, see what the see what's going on. That's a, a Roman uh, stuff museum, which is great. I love Roman stuff, so we'll come back tomorrow for the museum adventure. For the rest of the day, though, we're gonna go explore, check out the gardens, check out the rest of the square. And I gotta eat. I still haven't eaten. I get so distracted. I'm always talking about food because I forget to eat, and then I realize, what's going on? Why am I weak and hungry? Coming soon, this family. And they're happy to see you. All right, here in the middle of this roundabout, we've got a big black obelisk. Uh, something about the Russians, maybe. I see Rusi, Rusi Shin. Uh, Von Ludwig. I don't know. You know, if you speak German, feel free to translate all of this in the comments below. It's the one thing I haven't had yet. I was expecting to eat a lot more of. Some sausage. Sausage. I needs me some sausage. I hasn't eaten any sausage yet. And I needs it to fill me up for the day ahead. So we're gonna look for a sausage place. I heard there's a really good one at the Marienplatz. I feel like I'm the only one that whistles. Is whistling annoying to you, to the people? I feel like if you're a bad whistler, it's annoying. If you're whistling something stupid, but I'm usually, I feel like I'm whistling something kind of nice. I'm enjoying my day. I try not to do it in like a really crowded area, but when I'm walking around the town, there's nobody here. Occasional passerby. What do you think? I mean, it's impossible to be sad and whistle, you know? Whistling is a universal sign for I'm happy, I'm having a good day. <laughs> you don't see any sad people uh, walking around whistling. A 
nice big plaza. Maximilian Schrodefurst von Bayern. That is a leader. Look at him up there. Go that way, my people. That way there's sausage. Seems kind of an unfortunate name to call your uh, clothing store. For a second I thought the place was closed. No. It's it's closed. It's not closed. It's closed. Do it again, bigger and stronger. We, we have a lot of uh, best practices all over Europe. And so why not make use of all those uh, fortunes that are in the various countries? And you see, we are voting, uh, we, we are Walt and we want to um, advertise that there is, for example, a lot of digitalization going on in Estonia already. We could draw from their knowledge. We could use this here in Munich and make our community faster. Cool, Joey. Joey. Yes. And we shouldn't do this, but now oh, we did it sorry. already. So it's okay. I got go for disinfection. So I, got, I got hand sanitizer. Yeah, perfect. You want some? Yeah, perfect. go ahead. So first time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Volt is a uh, political party that's been growing. Uh, they're here in Munich to hopefully get a vote on the uh, local council. The idea is to promote unity, uh, to uh, promote uh, a universal language, to promote people working together. Look at that. The sun's coming out. And um, yeah, that sounds really good. The idea is to learn from each other, learn uh, from other models that have been working. We were talking about technology and how technology is um, so universal now and how easy it is to uh, access and how we need to upgrade our uh, government platforms to be more technological and to be more advanced and to be quicker and faster. And I totally agree with that. Uh, we are definitely living in the past sometimes when it comes to uh, our governments and our elections and things like that. So. That's what Volt is all about, and now you know. So I'm noticing more and more of these. It's yesterday, like the woman with uh, everybody grabbing her tit. There are these little areas that you can see where everybody's been touching, which seems bad in a time of uh, coronavirus. But yeah, I'm not sure why uh, that what that's all about. We have to learn the culture of why people seem to touch those. Some sort of luck or something. It's really interesting. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me, sir. You speak English? Yes. Uh, why do you touch the? Uh... Uh, uh, there, there are four four lions. Uh -huh. First lion is uh, good through. Third lion is it, it, uh, it lion is uh, one thing. It's short. Uh, good luck. Other things. Okay. Yeah. Yesterday at the Marine Platz, there's a woman with her boob. Yes, uh, Julieta. 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 It's got good luck. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Danke. McDonald's. Terrible burgers. Excellent Wi-Fi. Starting to turn into a beautiful day. All right, we're in the uh, outdoor market now. Lots of people walking around the marketplace. But right now we need some sausage and a beer. You all know I hate lines, but when food is concerned, it's okay, I can wait. Weisswurst. My friends, we've met some locals. Wooshins. Uh, Roland and Claudia. And uh, they have been so kind to me and teaching me about the local customs and the local food and the local beer, all the good stuff. Uh, right now we're heading to Hoffenhaus where uh, all the tourists and the locals like to hang out and mix and drink beer. And we're only gonna have one beer, right? One, so so after two beers, then we're gonna head back. Beer with one liter. That's right, and Das Boots. <laughs> so that's good, thank you all for showing me around. It's good Thanks times. For coming. Thanks for coming. Of course. Yes, really good. Gross. <laughs> then they maybe went to a market or exhibition or whatever, and uh, afterwards they they went in there and had a beer or two or more, and it's and also at that time it was a dangerous place because they 
often they didn't uh, come out after one or two beer, but after <laughs> five or six, and they don't find the way back home when they snap Like sick. the last time you were here? <laughs> La, like that, yeah. Yep. So, you know. That's a welcoming. <laughs> Musicians are drinking, of course. Okay, Prost. 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 Yes. <laughs> Wow, this is an impressive place. I'm very glad to have met some locals that are showing me around. One uh, beer has turned into two. So we're gonna go enjoy our second beer and uh, maybe go do some shopping for some later hosen. Who knows? The English Garden can wait. The museum is tomorrow. We'll be there. They're not going anywhere. Munich is fantastic. The people are very nice and friendly and open and welcoming. I'm so happy to be here. Good people, good beer, good times. <laughs> Southern Germany, Bavaria. Very proud people, very happy, social people. One beer turned into two, which is now turned into three. One beer turns into two, two beers turn into four, four uh, turns into six, and we're trying to keep track. But we're doing a bad job at that. Uh, the resource we were exploring it today might have to wait till tomorrow, but that's okay because we're having a great time. Good time with good friends, good music. And we'll make it. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, I'll show you a little bit what's going on. Hey, Joey! They want me to get another one, don't they? Hey, Joey! One. Come on. Okay. Hey, Joey! Hey, Joey! Hey, Joey! Hey, Joey! You have the house. The house coming on this.
having a good time. We had too many, too many. <laughs> a bad boy. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Hey, it's just me. Just you and me. I'm out here in Munich, outside the bar. I've had a few too much, so we're gonna stumble back home. Look at this place. You know how long it took the vines to grow all the way up the side of this building? I have no idea. But I imagine it's a long time. So right now I'm on my own from point A to B and I'm gonna make it. A beautiful place where I'm sure once upon a time, many an uh, angry German was here to support Adolf Hitler. I'm afraid the pendulum of autocracy swings. I guess all we can do is wait and see what happens. But it's up to you you to vote to be the voice of the people <sighs> and what voice will you be is somehow magically made it home and that's it for the night what a day it turned into a lot more drinking than i expected but that's okay met some good friends along the way tomorrow's museums and we'll see you then Good night.